Hi there, so today I'm going to be answering to these three questions. Is the market doomed? Fees on inactive users? And Shiba stablecoin in 2022? Nice to see you again and welcome back. Let's get started. Is the market doomed? Voyager Digital has filed for bankruptcy in New York. So what happened? A few days ago, Voyager Digital halted trading and all transactions on its platform, both deposits and withdrawals. Today, Voyager Digital is filing Chapter 11 bankruptcy in New York, a move that could see 100,000 investors lose their funds. According to Investopedia, Chapter 11 is a form of bankruptcy that involves reorganization of debtors, business, affairs, debts, and assets, and for that reason is known as reorganization bankruptcy. Chapter 11 is the most complex form of bankruptcy proceeding. A Chapter 11 bankruptcy allows a company to stay in business and restructure its obligations. Apparently, the firm holds assets worth between 1 billion and 10 billion, and that's a big range if you ask me. Interestingly, it owns liabilities amounting to the same range. With this, Voyager joins 3 Arrows Capital and Celsius, all companies being liquidated. Now, answering the question, does this mean that the market is doomed? Well, there has been a lot of talk about the current crypto winter lasting for months. Some even say it could last a few years before things can go back to normal. However, the crypto market is known for its extreme volatility, especially at a time when the world is about to enter a severe period of economic recession. It remains to be seen whether the crypto market will hold up as the alternative to fiat inflation. Now, let's go to the next one. Fees on inactive users. According to Bloomberg, Europe's largest crypto exchange, Bitstamp, has revealed that inactive users would be subject to a monthly fee. The new rule will come into effect from August. Charging users with balances below 200 euros who have not made a trade, withdrawn, deposited, or staked digital assets in the previous 12 months a fee of 10 euros. If you think about it, the rule comes as cryptocurrency trading activity, which is the primary income source for crypto exchanges, becomes increasingly strained as the bear market continues. According to Coinbase, trading volume is expected to drop even further. To cope with these challenges, FTX has launched derivatives, stocks, and options trading to attract a broader user base. Also, Bitstamp is not the only platform that charges users for inactivity. For example, eTor also charges an inactivity fee for users who do not log in into their accounts for 12 months. And lastly, Shiba Stablecoin in 2022? One of the main developers of the Shiba Inu project, Shitoshi Kusama, confirmed the information published earlier by XFund about the progress of the work and pointed out the intensified work on the interface and the usability of Shibarium. Although a public beta testing date has not yet been set, Work on the blockchain is proceeding as planned. And now let's get to the interesting part. He also gave an update on Shiba Inu's Shi stablecoin. According to the developer, the recent crash and depaying of some stablecoins like UST and USDN has caused concern. However, there is hope that such problems with Shiba Inu's stablecoin can be avoided by using its own independent, experimental, decentralized protocol. More information will be available later. But if there are no obstacles, the stablecoin should be released as early as 2022. Well, it was a quick one today, and that's all. See you in the next one.